Today, we are going to talk about tires. We're going to talk about different tread patterns. We're going to talk about what those three numbers mean on a tire size. We're going to talk about date code and where to find it and how to read it. And we're also going to talk about that mysterious arrow. What the flip is that mysterious arrow for? Let's get started talking tires. First thing that we want to talk about is tread pattern. The tread pattern is what you're going to be using for different types of bikes and different types of riding. This one, for example, is a knobby tire. You can see that it's got really deep grooves, um, real wide grooves. That's so that the gravel and uneven surface and everything doesn't affect you're riding nearly as much. So this is an off-road tire. Here we have kind of a 50-50 or 60-40 tire that still has some gaps in the tread, some nice deep treads. So you can go off-road, but this is mostly for highway use or touring. So this is kind of a, a touring and adventure. This is the kind of thing you would find more on dual sport maybe, or my GT Pro, I like to use a 6040 tire. So this is something that if you're always gonna be on the highway, you don't need. If you're gonna do some off-roading, this is the kind of tread pattern you want. Now, moving right along. Here is more of a sport touring tire. You'll notice that the tread pattern is much less visible. There's a lot fewer of these grooves cut into it. This is more of a, a sport touring, which means that it would have a harder compound usually in the middle and a softer gripper, grippier compound on the sides. And so you can do more aggressive riding with it. It's also one of those that's great for highways, but you don't want to take it on a gravel road. It would feel more like you're riding on marbles because it doesn't have big enough grooves for the gravel to go into for it to feel more like a smooth surface that you're riding on. So this is not an off-road tire. Now there is another, even a more aggressive kind of sport tire, which they take on the racetrack. That's a slick, but slicks you need to have tire warmers for. That's not something that you ever want to take on the street. These grooves are actually to channel water. That's why a slick is not good on street because if there's any moisture on the street, there's nowhere that channels them away, the water away. So the slick is just going to be hydroplaning. So that's not good. And now let's get to tire size. Here's our handy dandy numbers. Here we go. This tire is a 150 70, 17. So the 150 is telling you in millimeters the width of the tire. So the arc of the tire measurement is 150 millimeters. Then the 70 is telling you again in millimeters the height of the tire. And then the last number, the 17, is the diameter of the wheel in inches. Why it's millimeter, millimeter inches, don't ask me. It has something to do with the history of tire sizes probably. But anyway, so your wheel size is inches, but the aspect ratio and the width are in millimeters. Now let's look for that date code, that elusive date code. It's right here. There's a whole bunch of numbers, but you're looking for four digits. And on this one, it's 15 23. So that's the 15th week of the year and the two digits for the year. So 15th week, 23rd year, 2023. So this is a relatively new tire. It's much less than a year old. That's your date codes. And then what is this arrow for? This tells whoever's mounting the tire which direction of rotation this tire needs to go in. That's what that arrow is for. It's your direction of rotation. And I think that's it. Okay, so like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon in the corner, 
And thank you, Triumph Roswell, so much for loaning me the tires and letting me do this segment here. Get yourself out there and go have an adventure.